but the likelihood of us having broken the enchantment is very, very small. I don't know what the pudding pie, what little boy, no, what's his name? Georgie Porgy. I don't know what Georgie has. I don't know what's, what this uh, blah, 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 enchantment is. I know it's good for business, but there's got to be some way around it, and I feel like that might be the key. Maybe it's the key. Maybe it's not the key. Maybe it's got nothing to do with the keys. But it's all under Hi. lock and key at the Sheriff. moment. Hi, Narissa. Bow, chick, bow, wow. Let's get it on. <laughs> She's going to point out that we never visited the room. We could have a threesome with Colin. That'd be kind of weird. Um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> I'm still coughing up bullets. <laughs> Huffin' Puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. I well, that do. spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Ooh. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Your Go lips ahead. are sealed. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. So that's I a yes. I answer you just like that. I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. So, we're going to have to try Sometimes, alternative tactics. We have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. I can't Is ask if it's a... any sense? Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. I, it sounds like it's about so I Faith hope you're and Lily. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? My lips are sealed. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help. But so, I, so I should be. But. But your lips are sealed. Hmm. I really need to know about I'm this enchantment. Sorry if I'm wasting your time. You aren't. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There's got to be a way to break the spell. 
What if I just claw it off? No, that that couldn't be that simple. You mind if I just... No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! Okay. You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. I thought maybe... Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... That one has an ellipse. I don't know if I... What does that statement mean? It's so ambiguous with three dots after it. Come on. If anyone finds out I came here... Hide under the desk. Probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. I, I was really hoping for a my lips are sealed option. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. What's I going have a on? For you, but I don't know how solid it is. Is it Beauty and Beast called the office just now. Oh, they for... said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. She does. She Wait, what's the screen glow in my office? That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Don't worry. I handled it. She couldn't talk because of the magic, but we managed to understand each other. It's confidential, Snow. I did my job. My way. What did you expect? Do you really want to know? Because you have given me reason to doubt you. Surely even you can see that. You didn't see any blood, did you? Yeah. Bigby, that's not I right. was perfectly fucking professional. She and I had as good a conversation <laughs> as we could, given the circumstances. And I'm pretty sure she left convinced we're on the right track. Okay, then. Good work. Yeah. Calm your tits. So, about Beauty and Beast. Sheesh. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? Yes, what I do. What do you know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. Yeah. You can only imagine what they're thinking now. Hey, may maybe you should try pushing the fucking button, Snow. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? Wow, are we just setting ourselves up I to find another head on the... To okay. I work better alone anyways. Big B forever a lone wolf. Uh oh. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into. I still got a lot of cash. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. There's only one apartment here. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, B. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the... It's the... P b oh, crap. Someone's at door. Oh. What do you want? I well, was... You're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Because we're such good friends. Listen... I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Surprise, Felicio! So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. 
Well, you're kind of being a dick. Who's there? Beast? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? You keep acting like that and I'll make it a problem for you. It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Are you guys actually going to be private or am I going to be able to hear every word you're saying? Because that's what was happening in the hall. Yes, I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Fuck me, this place is big. A nice vase, a nice picture. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call mm. him again? Well, Talk about living in the past. He was keeping hey, they were happier times. I mean, listen to them in there. Little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do What's you wanna try going on with this armoire? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. Let's see. That's why I called. Let's we'll see. Doesn't look like there's anything else I can look at. Talk to Big B. What? No, I'm not gonna knock. Talk, we'll... we'll talk. Come on. It's like, hey guys, you know, I know you're having a private conversation, but sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say: centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta yeah, say, no, that shit place, really. It looks uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast. No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him. Frankly, I... I ex exactly, out. I think I can help Why you. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you. But I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I mean, I live in a shithole little apartment. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. Ba boom. Then sit. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, sit we're down used to and a certain shut kind up. of Lifestyle, okay? We Clearly. Just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's All not right. a lot of work out there. Yeah, I I, I, I understand be that. If we just lived like. It's like he knows. Someone better answer the phone. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Oh my gosh. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing hey. the slopes? We're not done here. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Ow, that was obnoxious. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. Who's that? I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Is that our lead here? Where am I going? All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. All right. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Who's Jersey? Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh! oh yeah. That slimy prick. 
I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the most likely. Man. Most likely. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I, I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. Yeah, it's... I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. I was calling the woodsman the lumberjack. <laughs> I mean, they're similar trades, Maybe right? Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Well, where else will I go? Do you, you... know that butcher shop, the cut above? Aha. Uh -huh. It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. <laughs> Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. Hmm. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Maybe well, I should have asked- what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And Aha. it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She hmm. gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. That but I don't need to tell sense. you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. Okay, calm down, Bigby, calm down. Out of there. I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We can't fight you for that. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. I None agree. Should. We agree. We were royalty once. I'm on your we side. Were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Calm the fuck down. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. You're right. I... No. Probably not. I live in a shithole, but I lived so, in the woods. Where are you going? I'm going to the butcher sideways, shop. I'd like to know where it's coming from. I'm going to the butcher shop. Unless there's a third option. Yeah, I didn't think there would be. Cause I yes, I could go to the Lucky Pond, but there's a possibility they'll back that up to them. To beauty. Maybe not the best way to go. But if I go to the butcher shop. It could just be because of the rumors that Mary's been around there and not because... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? Not the because is, beast. I don't think it's meat. In the I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. I know. There will be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pond after. Well, I guess I'll find out. It's gonna be what happened with, um... Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. Cha-ching. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I'm being pulled in every direction. <laughs>
Yeah.